Hello again. So I'm back on the sort of uh, flight design CTSL and I want to have a uh, bit of an experimentation with the negative flap setting. So in my previous video I mentioned that this negative 12 setting acts as a speed break and uh, you know that's wrong sort of in principle because uh, the purpose of the negative flap setting is to reduce uh, lift of the wing so it does act by increasing drag and uh, but by decreasing the lift that the wing is producing, by creating a little bit more uh, or, or changing the shape of the airfoil, you're reducing induced drag, which is created when you produce lift. And therefore, you are also changing the balance between the lift produced by the, the wings here and the tail. So um, for aerodynamic reasons, the, the negative flap setting can help. Now, a um, bit of research has revealed that there's a couple of versions of the CTSL one has a minus six degree um, uh, cruise setting for the flaps and there's an Australian variant which has this minus 12 setting which is what we see modelled in the sim here. Now I tried this out, so the video that I put on uh, recently from Queenstown to um, Alexandra was actually, the video I filmed was the second version of that, so the first time round I, I did do a demonstration of the uh, negative flap setting which showed how it was actually just acting as a speed break. But uh, so the second time around, I just said that without actually showing why. So let's um, jump into the airplane and, and uh, see if we can figure out why this time. So crank her up. Suppose the fuel's off. Try and find the fuel. That's the brake. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so uh, this latest update of uh, Flight Sim, we were able to turn off the tooltips, which uh, is pretty cool because they were a bit huge, but it does mean I have to hunt around a bit more now to find the right stuff, right? Okay, yeah, put our nav lights on just for fun, and the beacon can go on too. Alrighty, so uh, we won't muck around too much. So we are at uh, Dunedin NZDN. Okay, so I don't know, for some reason, whenever I do a flight, I like to uh, pick up where I left off. Sometimes I just pick somewhere I want to go. Um, so actually it says beacon, but it's actually strobe lights on the wings, isn't it? It's not even a beacon, so that's a bit weird. Okay, so we'll just uh, make our way out here to grass runway uh, 21. Let's see, we'll jump out here and you'll be able to see a bit more clearly. So it's this runway here. But before I do that, I am going to turn on Rex Weather. So let's. So a lovely day actually. Visibility greater than 10 kilometers. Snow cloud detected 080, 18 knots. So uh, that's pretty much what we have here as well. So we can go ahead and take the parking brake off. I'll just set flaps uh, 15 for takeoff. And we'll see if we can get out of the parking spot here without uh, chopping up one of our friendly ground personnel that seem to be all over the place. Yeah, okay, so the wind's going the other way. It's a bit of a shame. we to taxi all the way down there. What's he doing? Okay, so here's a little grass taxiway here. So we just hold the stick back because it's looks a bit rough through here. Alrighty. There we go. If we can get airborne before the taxiway, that would be good. Yep, no worries at all. Look at that. She really goes. Flaps up. It's amazing performance, this little airplane. Very cool. day. So we'll just get up to about 1500 feet and see if we can uh, get this stabilized and level flight and see if we can uh, go to this negative flap setting. So the idea is we're going to try and see if uh, what our cruise speed is with zero flap as it is now and then how the trim and uh, attitude changes and the speed. 
as well when we're in the uh, cruise. So just coming up to 1500 feet, 1300 there. Okay, we're going at 1500. So I'll come back to 4,900 RPM. And just let that speed stabilize. You can see the airspeed indicator uh, read 10 kilometers an hour. Okay. And it seems to be sitting at uh, about 200 kilometers an hour, just under. So, let's see, we'll just make sure it's all city. So, 4,900 RPM. Level just under 1,500 feet. And yeah, that speed seems pretty stable around 200 kilometers an hour. Okay, so that's our benchmark really. Clean configuration. Level at 1,500 feet with flat. Uh, with uh, 4,900 RPM, 200 knots, uh, sorry, kilometers an hour. So if I go to flaps minus 12, first thing I want you to see is what happens to the, the pitch moment of the aircraft. Okay, so I'm going to go do that now. So there they go. Okay, so now I'm not touching anything. This is just what it does by itself. So we can see the nose pitches down dramatically. So recover from that. It's a uh, model aircraft flying strip by the looks of things. <laughs> it's very cool. Okay, so let's uh, level off there at a thousand feet. So power should stabilize it for 1900 RPM. And looking at the speed. Okay, so the nose still wants to drop a lot, so I need a lot of nose up trim. And so this means that I'm now transferring more of the lift force uh, to the tail. Uh, RPM, 4900. Okay, so I've got a lot more nose up trim now because there was that big nose down pitch moment. And have a look at the speed. Okay, we level there, 200 kilometers an hour. So essentially all we've done is create a lot more drag on the, uh, the wings We've uh, changed the balance of the aircraft, so now we need a lot more lift from the tail. So let's jump outside. You can see those flaps sticking up. And just look at the elevator position there. So the elevator trim tab is this whole surface here. And so that's gone in a, a down direction to apply sort of a, a, a pitch moment up on the leading edge of the elevator okay and it hasn't altered our speed whatsoever right so I'm going to go back to flap zero and we'll see the nose will increase because I've got such a lot of trim so I'll counter that and try and stay level here at thousand feet I'm trimming nose down now to uh, try and uh, counter that get us back to where we were okay power check that again 4900 RPM, level flight, okay it's about right, okay, speeds uh, again as you can see it's around 200 kilometers an hour, there's Tyree, so we'll, uh, we'll join, a, we'll do a left turn shortly and join a base for uh, zero 03 there. And we can see the speed, if anything, it's faster. Now, let's have a look at the elevator. Okay, so you could see before, this trim tab was deflected downwards. And now it's pretty much neutral because I've brought all of that trim out. So this is what I mean. If we uh, put that negative flap setting on, we should get a speed increase. We don't. It essentially uh, doesn't seem to change much. But it does require a pretty big... Uh, change in trim so 
with the left turn here we just have to be conscious we've got some higher terrain out to the left so one of the tricks that I learnt back in uh, back in the day flying uh, and doing mountain flying training was uh, you can reduce your turn radius by reducing the speed so let's say we need to do a reversal turn to the left here when we don't have a lot of room because of that rising terrain so basically we just reduce the power okay so I'm just gonna maintain altitude let's bring the speed back I'll just set uh, 15 degrees of flap and then just increase the power and we'll just turn it around and pretty much in its own length there just about okay we can go back the other way we have not used much room at all so we did that around about 120 knots okay trying to just keep it level even though some of the flight controls have been tweaked a bit with the updates uh, it's still very pitchy it always has been um, flight simulator to be honest okay so that's a little technique there you can see there's no point trying to do a reversal turn at high speed because you're just going to use more room so let's uh, make our way across to the circuit there we'll leave the flaps out so this would be tiree traffic now we're downwind for runway zero three it's uh, Mosgill, the little township there. And because we're quite a long way out, I'm just uh, sort of converging on the normal downwind spacing and uh, setting up a descent. And the city of Dunedin is just through here. This is Port Chalmers, you can't quite see it. It's on the other side, but after this flight, I'm going to jump in the VL3 see how that feels with the latest mod and uh, have a look around the Queenstown uh, sorry the Dunedin city area okay brakes checked under carriages fixed make sure we don't have fuels on and hatches and harnesses are secure It's a fun plane to fly this though, I must say. It really is. Okay, it's flips 30. Full flap thirty five. Seeing a bit of pixelation on the windshield. I saw it before as well, so people have been talking about grainy clouds, so there does seem to be a bit of a problem with the lighting effect with this latest update. If uh, someone recommended tweaking the settings with the uh, NVIDIA uh, control panel, so I might have a look at that. I'm really just using power to control rate of descent here. So you can see it's a very uh, slow, steep approach. The problem with this is you just have to be careful not to run out of elevator when you want to flare. Alright, welcome to Tyree. Alright, I'm just going to uh, bring it to a stop here. So there you go, that was a, a little test of the uh, negative flap sitting there, and we can see that. Um, yeah, you might have different results, but just that brief test in a fairly standard configuration, um, we certainly didn't get a uh, increase in cruise speed, and a uh, big nose down pitch change as well. So uh, yeah, just something to keep in mind. Good, thank you.